All right, folks, what I got here is a level P900. I've leveled it on both this x-axis and the y-axis. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna zoom out. And you're gonna see that as I zoom out, the horizon rises and we're zooming into water. And as I zoom out more, the horizon raises even more, in, you know, relative to the center of frame. And as I zoom out more, the horizon raises more and more and more until the horizon's not even the frame anymore. And as I zoom back in, horizon lowers. So there's two ways to raise the horizon. One is to ascend, and as you rise, the horizon rises with you, indicative of a surface that's rising with you, curving upwards. And the other way is to zoom out. You know, if your visibility is diminished, then you can't see as far. So if there's upwards curvature, the further you can see, the horizon's gonna be higher, the further you can see because it's curving upwards. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that this camera is in fact level and I'm going to show you that by actually loosening this and I'm going to lower the camera and you can see the, the plane there showing how the camera is not level and I'm going to tilt it up. So this camera itself has a level and so you can see that when the camera is perfectly level and when it's not. I can also tilt it this way and that way and it'll tell me that my camera's not level. So we got a level camera on both axes and we're zooming into water. And I've proved that the camera's level. And we're still zooming into water. So I don't know. If you want to say that if you if you're looking for proof of curvature, well this is common sense, you know? If, if, if you got a level camera and water's flat and I'm five feet above the water, I should never be able to zoom in on the horizon. Two parallel lines are never gonna meet. However, I just zoomed into water with a level camera. That means the water's curving up. The flat maps don't work and there's no downwards curve. This is very simple. I love you guys.